fourth and fifth graders. Thanks for coming back. Hey, day nine today of the 21 day fast, almost to day 10, so close to double digits. I am very, very proud of you guys and I can't wait to keep going along the journey with you. Hey, you guys know what you need, your Bible, something to write on and something to write with. So if you don't have any of those things, pause, run and get them and then come back and I'll still be right here. So where we're going today is the New Testament, the book of 2 Corinthians, and we are going all the way to chapter 12, almost the very end, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9. So I'm going to read it, and then we're going to talk about it. Here we go. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made per perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. Wow. All right, I got to tell you guys a little story that when I was in fourth, fifth, sixth grade, I was terrified to sleep over at my friends' houses. It's true, it's kind of embarrassing to say now, but maybe some of you guys can relate and you know that it's real. I was so scared. I would go over to my friends' houses with uh, my group of friends, and then when it was time to go to bed, I would call my parents and they would come and pick me up. And they were so confused, Nick, why are you so scared? And that was a weakness that I had. It was such a big fear that I had. Another weakness that I had was I used to get so angry at my sisters, so angry for the littlest, littlest things. And that was a weakness that I had. So Paul here, when he writes, he says that God told him, my grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. So here's what we need to know. If God's power is made perfect in weakness, then that means that it's okay to have weaknesses because all of us have weaknesses. I have them, you have them, your parents have them, your brother and sister have them, your teachers, all of us have weaknesses. But here's the deal, God's power is made perfect in our weaknesses. And that is so cool. So here's what I want you guys to do. Right now I want you to write down one of your weaknesses. Maybe you can relate that you get really mad at people really quickly. Uh, maybe one of your weaknesses is that you are super scared of something. Or one of your weaknesses is that you say mean things to other people pretty often. But whatever it is, I want you guys to write it down and it's okay. And I want you to pray right after you write it that God would make his power and his strength perfect in that weakness and that you would begin to instead of get so angry stop and think wait would Jesus get really angry right now and that is God's power being made perfect in your weakness so that's the challenge that's what I want you guys to do hey we'll be back right here tomorrow for day 10 I can't wait to see you guys then until then love you all have a great day